So now, here's a really good way to make a light uh, sensitive switch. Of course, you would modify it based on what you want to switch, but uh, any case and the light levels, we have a light dependent resistor right there. When there's enough light, then the transistor is on. The load is also on. When it gets dark enough right there, the transistor is held off and the load is held off. There's not much middle ground region. So here is the circuit on the board right there. You can see the LED is on. Now if I dim the lamp, LED is going to stay on. I have to either turn the lamp off. The overhead uh, light is very uh, energy saving, not very bright at all. Let's see if we can get that focus again. Or I can use the cover for that alligator clip right there to cover the LED. But there you can see, um, or cover the light pin resistor. There you can see it turns on and off pretty quickly. There's not much middle ground region there. So now we're going to take a slower look at the circuit. We got an NPN bipolar junction transistor here. It doesn't matter what you use, but uh, 2N3904 will work well. We need at least 0.6 volts from base to emitter before current will flow through and then the transistor will turn on. That's the main thing to remember. If we get it dark enough, then we got uh, really close to 0 volts at the uh, base and the emitter is 0 volts. And uh, so, of course, transistor is going to be off, load is going to be off. Uh, we get, you know, don't even need a ton of light in this circuit, uh, even low level lights. Current's going to flow through the uh, light pen resistor, 10K resistor, until we get to about 0.6 volts. Then we'll also start flowing uh, through that 10K resistor uh, to ground. And you want a resistor there because if you get really bright light on the light pen resistor, it might uh, get too low. But in uh, any case, um, it's not really going to affect the circuit at all. And then... Uh, that little bit of current allows many times the current transistor turns on and so does the load. And we'll do a quick step-by-step uh, -step build on the breadboard. So we got the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using 2N3904. The emitter is to ground. Base is floating right now. And then the collector also floating. 220 ohm resistor will protect the red LED from 5 volts and uh, make it fairly bright. Long lead, the anode, goes to the LED. Short lead, the cathode, goes to the collector. And a transistor is off right now. There's no base to emitter current, and therefore no collector to emitter current. The load's going to be off. We're going to take a 10K resistor and go to the voltage divider. My body can give a weak signal, so it turns on a little bit. I can uh, get a little of electricity flowing out with my body. Uh, but there you can see, it's on. That's because it's bright enough. We got our light-dependent resistor there. Currents flowing uh, through the light dependent resistor and the load. 10K resistor is not pulling it to ground until I get it dark enough right there. Now the 10K resistor is getting to ground enough where we don't have base to emitter current transistors off.